Welcome everybody to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty on NCAA Football 14. This week we travel to Austin to meet the Texas Longhorns for the third consecutive season. This has been one of those teams we just have not been able to be successful against. Two years ago they were the only team to defeat us and last year they gave us an opening week loss 30-16. The Longhorns enter at 5-0 on the season, undefeated and ranked number 4 in the country, while Kalispell enters 5-1, ranked at number 6. We do have a connection between these two teams, as their head coach is Mike Bloomgren, who was our offensive coordinator during the best era of Warhawk football. The offensive coordinator now for Texas is Matt Rule. And these great offensive minds have combined to help Texas become the top scoring team in football at the moment. Number three in yardage, number five in rushing. They run for 316 yards a game, which is right up there with the top option offenses. We've struggled against Texas in the past, and if we want to compete for a title, we've got to find a way to contend with the Longhorns as we get underway from Austin, Texas. And here we go. The Warhawks will start with the football, and for the second straight week, they're going to start in the Wildcat. Matthew McNair, who opened last week with a touchdown, will not have a repeat performance. He loses four on the opening play. McNair is coming off one of the top rushing performances in Kalispell history as we defeated Army. We'll throw it now on second and long, and Sherrod Edwards breaks a tackle and picks up six. That brings up third down. Texas comes out in the 3-3-5 and they bring pressure. Picked up nicely. Here is Vincent underneath. Right at the sticks. He's got it. First down Warhawks. Both teams enter scoring more than 40 points a game this year. Here is Jim Jackson on the outside with some room. And he'll pick up seven yards before he's brought down. Craig Booth motions to the left side on third and three. Here comes the pressure. Irvin is hit, and that falls incomplete. Texas will get the stop here on the opening drive. This team loves to run the football. 316 yards a game, and Brian Hall is the top running back. He's coming off a 132-yard performance. And Texas will start. This is jumbo personnel. Hall gets the carry off right tackle, and he will start the day with a gain of nine. We'll see multiple running backs today, plus also quarterback Chris Parker can run. But on third down, here's Hall with Rome. He's got the first down and continues to fight ahead to the 45 yard line. 22 yards for Brian Hall. He's a running back who can create his own yardage, but there he didn't even have to. Here's Parker now on first down. He looks to take off with it and will get solid yardage here, a gain of six. Parker has thrown for seven touchdown passes this year and four interceptions. He'll keep it on the ground here on second down and Hall is brought down for a loss. There's Demarcus Williams. Everyone's got to step up here to stop the run. Third and six now. Screen, Jamal Sanders makes the catch. Breaks a tackle, still on his feet and finally shoved out of bounds. Shy of the marker. Both teams come up empty on their opening drives. Kalispell takes over, first and 10. Pressure is through, and this throw is behind tight end Craig Booth. Irvin, two of five throwing here on the first couple of drives. Back to pass once again. The ball is out quickly for Josh Vincent. Very close to the first down marker, a gain of nine. Three wide here for Kalispell. They'll run it, and Jackson bounces off first contact. He picks up four. First down, Kalispell. A bunch formation here on first down. Irvin again to throw, buying time outside the pocket. And he's being chased and can't get much on this throw. That ball's incomplete. A disruptive start for the Texas front, and it's third down, Kalispell. Pressure picked up this time, and the catch is made! First down, Sherrod Edwards gets 18 yards. One of Kalispell's top priorities has to be protecting Irvin. He'll dump this one off. Jackson breaks a tackle, but has nowhere to go with the football. He maybe gets one. This is a really aggressive start for Texas. They are swarming to the football. And now this pass is knocked down. Freddie Medley gets a hand on it. Irvin tried to squeeze that pass in. 
Instead, third down. Play action, more pressure, and down goes Irvin. He's sacked. And the coverage was great downfield. Justin Bryan gets the credit, and that will force another punt. We didn't see this offense do much against Texas in the first two meetings. Longhorns take over. Here's the flip out to Brian Hall, and he's going to keep fighting for extra yardage on his way to a gain of eight. Already 50 yards on six carries. Extra blockers on almost every snap. Hall right side. Now a gain of three. The whole question for this defense is can you slow down the ground game? Sanders checks in and dashes inside. First down, Longhorns. There's seven. Three receivers now in the game. They're actually spreading out the defense. And here's Sanders on the sweep. A stiff form on red. Picks up the first down. And he's out of bounds at the Warhawk 40-yard line. Here we go, here we go. Really solid start for this ground attack. As Hall checks back in. And the blockers open up a lane. He picks up another Longhorn first down. There's 14 more. They're making it look so easy. Out of the full house look, Weldon carries, room off tackle, to the five, and he's in for the touchdown! Texas on the board! They're not even trying to throw the football. They're just finding various ways to attack on the ground, and Kalispell has no answer right now. 7-0, and this should be the last play of the first quarter for Kalispell. Rolling out, Irvin completes on the move to Craig Booth. A first down to end the first quarter. Can Kalispell find a way to consistently move the ball against this defense? First and ten here, setting up the screen. It's lateral backwards. McNair has it, but nowhere to go. No gain. Kalispell tried to get tricky, but Edwards would have been better off keeping the ball there. They'll run it on second down, and Jackson behind. Good blocking up front. He picks up the first down. Two tight ends here for Kalispell. Again, Jackson falling ahead through contact. There's six more. We haven't seen very much Matthew McNair here in the first half. Jackson will carry again. This time, Texas is ready. And that is Thorne on the stop. Third down now for the Warhawks. Texas showing pressure. They do send it. And Irvin completes to Sherrod Edwards. First down, gain of 10. Inside the Longhorn, 40 now. Irvin rolling outside the pocket. Dumps this off. Chambers really doesn't have much room, but keeps driving ahead. And that's a five-yard pickup. Kalispell here right on the edge of field goal range, trying to keep the drive moving. On third down, the pass is caught on the outside by Sherrod Edwards. Another third down conversion. Now in the red zone for the first time. Here's a sweep. McNair's got some daylight. Inside the 10, turns the corner to the end zone. Touchdown, Kalispell. This play couldn't have been better blocked. Navarro, Booth all had big blocks on this play, and McNair takes it to the end zone. We're tied now at seven. Texas takes over, they'll go to the air here, caught by Jack, and he'll fight for extra yardage now. Kalispell really needs to clean up the tackling, they're giving up so many extra yards. Paul carries again, that's more like it! Anthony Payne on the stop, and that's a loss of three. Take this offense out of their rhythm. Third and 11, Parker's got time, and a man open, but shy of the sticks, Ryan Robinson didn't get there. Both teams are playing really tough here in the first half. Kalispell back on offense. McNair starts this drive, and he picks up four yards. Pretty even carry split so far between McNair and Jackson. Play action on third down. A lot of pressure. Just dumping this off in desperation, and McNair is stopped again. Texas is ready. Fourth down. Texas takes over with excellent field position in Kalispell territory. Time for Parker at the sideline, what a catch! Chad Taylor comes away with it! How did he do that? Dehonte Jeffries went for the big interception and he got nothing. Wow! Inside the 25 now, Hall off tackle, breaks a tackle, keeps on fighting to the 10. Another gain of 14 yards, Texas in the red zone. 
Again coming out in their jumbo personnel. Hall carries, breaks another tackle, and the ball comes out! Kalispell's gonna take over! Armstrong recovers! Elliot Red made the hit! What a play! When it looked like Texas was about to retake the lead, there's the hit from Red. He'll miss tackles occasionally, but he does not miss there. Still a tie game as the Warhawks take over and still having trouble getting McNair outside. Seven carries for 26 yards. Most of those coming on the touchdown run. Pressure in the middle here on third down and Irvin's going to be dropped again. Another sack for Texas. Their front has been pretty dominant. Kalispell can't do much with the takeaway. But less than a minute to go now as Texas will take over. From about the 36-yard line, room for Sanders back into Kalispell territory, and they'll have 51 seconds now. Already on the edge of field goal range to start things. Here's Chris Parker back to pass, and he's nearly picked off by Matt Armstrong. We could have had a second big takeaway. Instead, third down, this is the power eye, and it's Weldon carrying inside. We haven't seen that look all day. They use it there in a key spot to keep this drive moving. First and 10, Hall as a receiver makes the catch, and he picks up six. Clock running here for Texas, 23 seconds, one timeout left. Parker takes off again, has some room, picks up the first down, a stiff arm on red, and he's brought down inside the five. So the clock does stop. Still one timeout left for Texas. Back to the air, inside 10 seconds, to the back corner, touchdown, Marcus Johnston. Longhorns retake the lead after all. The only difference this time is they avoid the big turnover, but they've moved the ball really well in this half. Only seven seconds left for Kalispell, and they're going to come out in the flex bone. Why not at this point? Here is Merville off the toss across the 40-yard line, and Kalispell spends a timeout. They have two seconds. Why not switch it up, see if you get a big play, and now you can take a shot. Time expires for Irvin. He's going to take his shot. Single coverage! It's broken up for Sherrod Edwards. Medley got a hand on it, and that ends the first half. Once again, it's a tough matchup for Kalispell, but they've kept this one close. But they'll need to have a better answer for this Texas ground game in the second half. I thought the running game with Matthew McNair could be a big difference maker today. And he does have a touchdown, but that's really been his only notable play. The Warhawks have a lot they need to improve upon here in the second half as Texas starts the third quarter with possession and a seven-point lead. Good defense that time as they bring down Sanders. Third and three here for Texas. They'll try Hall up the middle. He's got it first down. When it comes to just pounding the power running game straight ahead, Kalispell's had no answer. Sanders back in. Off tackle this time. Good job by Elliott Red. Those tackles for loss are such a big deal. Third and five for Texas, and they'll keep it on the ground. Hall breaks two tackles and nearly moves the chains. That's a big stop. And it tells you a lot about this team that they trust running on third and five. Warhawks take over, spreading out the defense, and Chambers hauls this in very close to a first down. He does convert. We haven't seen Kalispell get over-aggressive in this game. They're trying to simplify things a bit, it seems, and run the football well. There's Jackson for five. Nine carries already for Jackson. Irvin fakes it to him on first down, rolling outside the pocket. Heaves downfield. There's Edwards with the spin move. He's inside the 20 for a gain of 44. That will quiet the crowd. Kalispell's biggest play of the day. Back in the red zone now, second and long, facing pressure, picked up nicely. There's Edwards on the catch, tying the game! Touchdown! That is the perfect start to this quarter. A stop, a score, and a broken record for Luke Irvin, surpassing Brandon Warren's 95 career passing touchdowns. And we're tied now at 14. Longhorns take over, there's Red again! He's made more plays than anybody today on defense. 
These early down stops are huge. Hall on second down is stopped again for a short gain, and it's third and seven. Texas will actually be forced to throw, and they'll do so with a screen. Sanders has a block, and he's right there at the sticks. I think he got it. He did just enough. It's so tough to get off the field against this team. A lot of time now, and Parker takes off through the middle, falling ahead with a gain of eight. Here is the full house look they scored from earlier. Now they're going to mix it up. Parker flips back, and Hull has the first down. Whether it's Texas or Army, these really good running teams all have the ability to mix up the way they run. And then the passing game off of it to fill in the gaps. First down for Peters. Inside the 25, they'll run weak side. Sanders brought down for a loss. It is Elliott Red. Another tackle for loss. He's up to eight tackles total. Now on third and eight, the catch is made, but shy of the sticks by Frank Houston. And that will bring up fourth down. Texas breaks the tie, but only with three. Late third quarter, Warhawks take over. Booth makes the catch, and that's a first down. Another good throw by Luke Irvin. Three receivers in the game. The back is McNair. They'll try him again. Breaking first contact and running out of room quickly. Just a gain of two yards. Two receivers left. Now running to the right side. A bit more space. McNair's got the first down. They're sticking with the ground game despite limited success. We're on to the fourth quarter here. Irvin loads up and airs one downfield. That's nearly picked off by Freddie Medley. Good coverage there against Phoenix Chambers. And that brings up third down. Blitz sent. Picked up. Irvin nearly picked again by Long. Texas with great coverage once again. And they'll force Dominique Day to punt once more. Trying to pin the Longhorns deep in their own territory. And this is an excellent punt. Inside the 10. Longhorns take over. Here's second and 10 out of the eye. Hall running inside again. Lost his balance. And Red is there after a gain of five. Kalispell's making these third downs a lot more challenging. Texas needs five. Again to the screen. Hall has it. And lost his balance out of bounds. What a break for Kalispell. Here's what happened. The blocker is going after DeHonte Jeffries and the feet just get tangled up a little bit. That's all it takes. Kalispell down three takes over and there's Jackson inside eight more good yards. Third down here for the Warhawks. Irvin, pressure's picked up. He'll air it out again. Booth at the 20. Lost the ball at the end though. We'll see if that one counts. Booth made the grab and it looks like his knee may have been down. Definitely, that's an easy overturn fumble. Kalispell does keep possession. And on first down, rolling outside, Irvin lobs up top and misses, throwing out of bounds. Two receivers to the right side and they'll run it through the middle with room is Jackson inside the 10. And it's goal to go, Kalispell. Can they retake the lead? Pitch outside here. McNair brought down in the open field. Great tackle by Shannon Long. And that'll bring up third down. Texas trying to force the field goal. Irvin's got time and throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Craig Booth. Warhawks retake the lead here in the fourth quarter. Great call by the Kalispell offense. Craig Booth has made some really critical plays this year. He's playing more of a role in the passing game than I expected. But this game, certainly not over. Texas has a lot of time and are still gashing this defense on the ground. 13 more to Brian Hall. Kalispell does stack the box this time. Sanders makes a cut and he's got enough to move the chains once again. Texas does have to come away with a touchdown, however. Down to three and a half minutes. Parker complete, and Peters falls ahead. He's marked shy of the first down, but it's third and inches. Power eye again for the Longhorns. Off play action. Wide open is Weldon, who stepped out of bounds, but he does have the first down. 
Less than three minutes to go for Texas. Alexander checks in now. His first carry is going to be a loss. Great job up front that time. McNeil makes the play. That backs up Texas two yards. But now on the draw play, Sanders gets five. That sets up third and seven. Of course, it's also four down territory, but they will throw it here. Houston had to come back for it and only gets four. So that'll set up the biggest play of the day right here. Fourth down, Texas. They have to get inside the Kalispell 19. They will throw for it. Parker under pressure. Goes down. He's sacked. Armstrong was the first there. McNeil makes the play. Armstrong set up the left tackle like he was going to go wide and then cuts underneath with that clear path to Chris Parker. What a play. Kalispell takes over on downs and here is Jackson to start the drive with a first down run. The Warhawks are so close to clinching this game. First and ten, Jackson this time is met at the line of scrimmage and gains one. A minute 31 to go. Carrying to the right side, and Jackson is stopped quick. Texas uses their last timeout. That means a first down here would end the game. Josh Vincent motions left to right. They keep it on the ground here. McNair trying to win it, and he'll come up shy. Texas gets their stop, and we're not quite finished yet. They will have one more drive, but no timeouts. Here's Dominique Day to let this go. Inside the 10 and down by Merville. 38 seconds left. Texas needs a touchdown and will have to drive over 90 yards to get it. Can Kalispell hang on? Standing at the goal line. Parker up top and nearly picked. It went right through the hands of Jeffries. But now we're down to 33 seconds. Again, Parker standing in the end zone. Stepping up, he keeps his balance and now takes off with it, but won't get the first down or stop the clock. And that clock will continue to run. 15 seconds, back to the line, and Texas gets the ball spiked with 13 seconds remaining. They're still about 87 yards away. 10 seconds to go. Short throw to the sideline. Caught by Robinson. That will stop the clock. They're only a little bit closer though, still 80 yards to go. Seven seconds left, dumped off, Sanders, he's got to get the first down, and he won't! It's over! Kalispell finally beats Texas! What a game and what a win for the Kalispell Warhawks! In a game that could define our season, Kalispell pulls off the upset. We already had one big loss this year to Wisconsin, and another one would definitely send us down in the rankings. Well, today, Kalispell steps up for this challenge, and finally, they compete with Texas, and they come away with a 21-17 win. This was a really well-played football game. It was very fun to go through just because it was so different. We didn't see a ton of scoring in this game. We didn't see a ton of turnovers. We just had two really good teams in a really good fight. I feel like both teams played well enough to earn the victory today. It was just one of those games where there was such little margin for error. Even though Texas did have the fumble, they ended up getting the football back and scored just a couple minutes later. So it's not even like that fumble made a huge difference. We just ended up getting the third touchdown, and they only got two. They had to kick a field goal. I know our run defense wasn't great today. It was very boom or bust. They got some really big plays, but we also got aggressive and made some big tackles for loss. And against one of the top rushing teams, they're just going to make some plays. There's no way around that. But I think where this game was won was with our running game that gave the offense some balance and I did not give up on it. We let Jackson pound the rock inside and then tried to get McNair going with the sweeps and tosses. Those just didn't work and it turned out that Jackson was more vital to our success today than Matthew McNair was. Then in the passing game, I think the big thing was no turnovers. We had some big third down throws. We actually, I think, had a pretty good third down day overall. 
No turnovers, no field goals. We just played a really good game. Both teams could have won. Neither team deserved to lose, really, the way I look at it. Definitely a different game from the last one on the channel, the uh, Broncos and Chiefs game. That one couldn't have been more different than this. But we showed up today in a big way. And we'll have to do the same next week as we take on the Minnesota Gophers. We do return home for this one. The Gophers don't have a lot of star power on the team, but they're just a pretty solid team overall. We're not very familiar with their roster. Their current starting quarterback is junior Dustin Hughes. It's his second year as a starter, and he's putting up some really good numbers. But he doesn't have a very strong arm. And against quarterbacks with low arm strength, I try to keep the defense sitting underneath to force the ball downfield. And that's when I try to get some takeaways. So that's how we will attack this team. And hopefully we can score another big victory to continue climbing in the top five. We took the number four spot away from Texas, but we're not done there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this action today. Just a really fun game. I had an awesome time with it. Hope you did as well. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will be back with more Kalispell Warhawk action soon. Have a great day.